Uh, sort of, you know, it's it's first day with with Phil. Um, so, you know, like we today we just um, spoke about uh, elite standards and like Phil was, um, is bringing like bringing hard work to the table and and you know the scene out there in the first session like that that's what it was all about um, teamwork, elite standards and and hard work. So um, yeah, that's what um, he's bringing to the table um, today and hopefully over the next um, five months or whatever in pre season and uh, start off. 2015's season as um, yeah really strong hopefully. You're up. Okay, just how hard was it out there? Uh, it was solid. Um, yeah, second week of pre-season, like nothing nothing comes easy in pre-season. Um, hot weather uh, and those sort of things, everything adds up and um, yeah, running around for. Uh, what you do in the off season doesn't compare to what you do out on the track. So um, yeah, it's it's a bit of a build up, but yeah, we'll gradually build build up more and more, and um, yeah, just get the load in the legs and get the run in the legs. So yeah, it's getting going to be tough. The, the coaches were all mic'd up today. How do you think that's going to help the players? Oh, it'll just be uh, really good with the communication between players, and everyone knows where they stand, and that honesty. Um, everyone knows what's been set out on the track, and. Um, between all the coaches and the players, so um, you can be held accountable to whatever's being said. So I think it'll be a really good thing because um, yeah, everyone will know where they stand. Because Loshi is so vocal and was this morning, uh, how is that going to impact your co your training out there? Um, oh, I think uh, it'll be really good for us. Um, you, you really you really know what's going to be expected from you, uh, and if you don't. Uh, get to those standards then yeah you you'll be left behind so um, yeah I think he's pretty honest with uh, his feedback and that sort of thing and I think that's going to be great for the group because uh, yeah obviously yeah going forward you're going to know where you stand and if you're if you're not up to those standards like I said then yeah you're going to get left behind so and you don't want to be left behind and um, yeah hopefully that can create a good environment with the club. What about your own off season mate how did you find it? Um, yeah, it was a bit different for me coming off an injury, so uh, I just wanted to get a bit of run in the legs and that sort of thing, coming up, sitting on the couch for a few weeks uh, after hurting my spleen, so I knew I had to do a little bit of work to catch up to all the other boys, so uh, I, think, I think I did that and caught up, so hopefully I can uh, make the most of my pre-season and uh, yeah, be right to go by day one uh, of the opening game. Can you talk us through just a few of the highs and lows, I suppose, because it's not a Yeah, well, so it was a bit different for me because I'd never really had too many injuries touch wood. Um, and that coming back from that, you, you sit on the couch, you can't do a lot of things for a long time. So uh, probably too much, you're not doing anything. And that was sort of pretty tough for me going from training every day and that sort of thing. And watching the boys play was probably really tough as well. Um, but then getting back into it, losing the amount of fitness that you do. You don't, I'd never re realised how much fitness you lose. Um, and so that was pretty tough for me. Um, but I had a lot of great support with my family and that sort of thing around me. And the club was great as well. They offered me time away if I needed it. But uh, I just thought I needed to be here and be around the boys and try and support them as much as I could. If there was a positive, would you say maybe that it's given you a couple of weeks rest going into this pre-season? Or how would you spin it so you know, there's a positive side for you? Yeah, definitely. Like it gave me a bit of a break and let the body recover because uh, I'd only done uh, one full pre-season and the body was uh, probably a little bit tired and uh, that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, you could probably put a positive spin on that. And also now I got to sit in the coach's box and that sort of thing and I, I learnt the game plan a lot more and um, just got to see a different aspect of the game. Uh, and I learnt yeah, what, the co what the coaches see and what you don't see out on the uh, field. And learning from Benny Rutten last year, he was like a coach out on the field um, and he would instruct uh, everyone where to go and I probably didn't have that to my game. So hopefully I now sitting back and seeing that uh, from a different perspective, I can add that to my game. So that make you hungrier, a bit more experienced after seeing what the coach sees, like that would have been a pretty good way to develop your game I suppose as well? Yeah, well definitely, that's that's it. I, I want to con keep continually, uh, continually developing my game and um, like, yeah, 
being yeah being the best player I can be and seeing Truck do it, hopefully I can develop into a sort of player that he was and a leader out on the field and take my game to the next level.